Shit. I don't think I'm doing this right, YouTube. Shit. You were close. Professor Oak reference. Look at that. One beer. He's hoping I don't pass out. Cheers. Enjoy. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole? There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth, oh my goodness. Those bastards think that they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no, they have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do it and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive, and there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do what the other newspaper does? Recently, they told me what they told me that they needed more clicks. More clicks! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks, I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. Storming off. I wonder what happened to Sven, though. We never heard from him again. Jill! Yes? What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, I tell you. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. The ceiling, the sinks, the toilets, the vents. Shh, you'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. I have a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I... How are we doing? Almost 20 minutes. Gosh dang. Big gut punch. Fast. Alright. He wants a gut punch. I'm gonna give him a gut punch, alright? Okay. Already now. Oh, we killed it, YouTube. Here. Hmm. You actually can do it then. Crack house is a bar. Hellhole, crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. The hell do you care? The payment registry says. Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDougal? McDougal? Ingram? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an there was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. <laughs> Please let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple of years? My goodness, everyone today is being so rude. No. Then I have no use for you beyond giving drinks. Such a pleasant clientele tonight. Can I ask why you decided to come to our bar then? Somebody recommended me this place. I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. A regular? Can I ask who? No. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. 
Uh, fucking, I don't know. Uh. Hey, Jill. Where'd you put the dish soap? Gills run out. Below the sink where it's always been. Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? Nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. Can't afford to slay into this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Donna Zanai, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. That's an achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? Heard a couple of stories. They sound too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. Saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved Class 5 weaponry. The other one was a pickup artist. And the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but... There's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and... She started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? <laughs> Give me a pile driver, please. Please, that's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. Who wants a pile driver? I honestly feel like suplex in though. Oh, everybody loves the suplex. Hell yeah. Let's make it a big one, yeah? This isn't a pile driver. It's a local drink. My coworker came up with it. He calls it a suplex. This isn't gonna blow up in my face, is it? God, I'm cute. Look at me. Hold on. going, yeah? Isn't gonna blow up in my face, is it? No, it's safe. It's even been added to the BTC's official recipe book. Good. Hey, lady. You ever faked an orgasm? Oh my goodness! I'm sorry. I think I heard wrong. <laughs> Asked if you ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not gonna answer. Take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually. But for that moment, a lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you really faked orgasms? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. Still... That's quite the random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. <sighs> of course you are. Hey, gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? It's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. Alright, let's give him a fringe weaver. <laughs> Oh, good. This, this is strong stuff, huh? He doesn't want to dig. 
Why would he? Yeah, look, that made us a lot more money. I was an idiot. Try not to drink it too fast. It's up to me. Hey lady, you ever felt empty? Empty how? Like, hungry? No, I mean, empty like there's a party you're missing. Can't say I particularly have. Just feel there's this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? What if I move here? Uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, this will be nice. Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. <laughs> Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is? Pictures and alcohol. Tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian relay of STDs, so I left midway through. Once burnt my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I've also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day, for three years in a row now. Nothing seems to do it. Um... Have you tried rescuing a puppy? <laughs> Can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. Wasn't expecting you to help me. Or believe me. Huh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Uh, anyway, I'm leaving now. This smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Good. <sighs> Boss, I'm gonna take my break. Alright. Oh, look at this. It's adorable. You got Jill. You got Dana. Okay, uh, so that's perfect, because I was just wanting to stop for today. Yeah, we did great. 28 minute video. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I was... Nope, I got it this time. Check it out. Watch this. Keep on grazing.